constructed from the DNA. To help their students take a fresh look at the evidence, Wheaton professors asked Kansas State University geologist Keith Miller, a devout Christian and advocate for the teaching of evolution, to give the keynote address at a symposium on the fossil record and geologic history. So my response was to come to present myself as a strong advocate for the teaching of evolution and for the centrality of evolution as a unifying scientific theory, and at the same time make very clear my evangelical Christian position. Many uh, evangelical Christians like myself, uh, and historically, again, since the time of Darwin, have seen no necessary conflict between the two. What does a fossil record tell us? Are there transitional forms preserved in the fossil record? And my answer is a resounding yes, lots of them. And, but first we have to know what is a, a transitional form. And I'll go back to Darwin's definition of a transitional form. This is uh, a- Keith Miller's message to these Christian students is that all the evidence from the ancient fossil record to the latest DNA analysis compels us to accept the evolutionary theory in full. But for some Wheaton students, the implications of our descent from a common ancestor are still troubling. How you connect um, the Genesis account of man being unique in God's eyes and we're made in the image of God um, with us descending from a common ancestor. Mm -hmm. I think understanding what it means to be made in the image of God is a very, very important question. Um, I personally do not believe that the image of God is connected to our physical appearance um, or our origin as far as how we were brought into being. This is kind of a weird question, but do you think he just um, picked an organism or, and like said, okay, I'm gonna put my soul in him? I think one possibility is that, that God chose Adam and Eve out amongst uh, the other uh, humans that existed at the time and say, I'm going to make you a, a soulful spiritual being in communion with me. Um, I think that's a viable possibility. Thanks. I found it very, very good. I mean, I really, I, th I thought to myself, what a, a freeing thing it is that he would say very unapologetically, this is my position. I buy completely into the theory of evolution. This is the way it is. Um, this is the way it's going to be. Just from what I heard from Dr. Miller, I talked it over with my roommate afterwards. And what was refreshing, she and I think a lot alike, so this wasn't terribly surprising. But for us, it was incredibly refreshing to have someone come and blatantly say, I am an evangelical Christian, and I believe in evolution, and to not blink. That was very exciting for both of us. Because I feel that sometimes the professors here may believe that, but they can't openly come out and say, this is what I feel, because it's like coming out of the closet almost in our interpretation, because it's, you don't want to do that, because then someone may label you a liberal, you know, God forbid. The symposium may have reassured students like Emi Hayashi that Christianity and evolution can coexist.